Hey, hello everyone, Pally Tim here. Welcome back to Subnautica. I decided today I wanted to learn more about that pilot that we saw. They came down in one of the prawn suits. They had a blade for an arm in one hand, and some of you in the comments seem to think you recognize the voice of that person. So I'm very intrigued. I don't know if we're gonna be able to find them today. We only know, know their last known location. But I'm heading towards it right now. Uh, it is pretty dark. Pretty difficult to see at the moment. At least underwater. Oh, it's a snowstorm. It's still weird looking up and seeing land. The, uh, the sea truck or whatever this thing is called doesn't do so well at the top of the water as the last vehicle from the previous Subnautica. Wow. Yo, the lighting come, coming off of that thing is actually beautiful. Can I take a sample? No samples? All right, I'll scan it. The light emitting plant is reminiscent of a sieve or a colander. Wow, that was so insightful. I wish I could plant those. That would be really cool to like uh, bring light to an area. That would be a cool way of doing it. Hey, little guy. We saw one of these last time. A rock puncher. What do you think he does? <laughs> A large... Oh, what he travel? Holy shit! <laughs> bro! Bro! Hey! You stay over there. Oh my god, is he pursuing me? <laughs> A large crustacean which feeds on tiny larvae excavated from the coral and rock with its powerful punching arms. Attracted to glow larvae found in and around the deep sea rock formations. Hardened shitten claws can thrust forward at close to the speed of sound to break rock and bone alike. I don't know why I'm reading so poorly today. I apologize. Usually I have a nice cadence. Uh, known to attack larger creatures which threaten its territory. Perfectly adapted to cave environments, its six legs adhere to walls, and it can propel itself short distances through the water. Well, we know that already. Heavily armored, vul vulnerable only to Leviathan-class predators. Huh. You know, he may not look like much, but that's a pretty intimidating little guy. So we are at the dock for the Delta Station right now. We're just gonna keep going around this rock and see what's on the other side when we come out. Oh, the terrain is very different here. Like pink geysers, what is this? Uh, these blister-like fumaroles are vents for steam and volcanic gases that cycle through stages of accumulation and release in hidden chambers deep beneath the ocean floor. The gas mixture emitted by this fumarole typically contains carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and hydrogen sulfide, sourced directly from bodies of magma. The vibrant, violent explosions seen here get their distinctive purple hue from the additional presence of gaseous iodine in the mixture. That is very pretty. That's a great landmark. I don't imagine this will be happening all over the sea floor or anything. We should probably try to figure out if this guy's actually gonna hunt me. I mean, he's fucking gnarly looking, but... Detecting stern of an astronautical Soltrans go vessel nearby. Vessel name, Mercury 2. Mercury 2. Inoperative. <gasps> Oh, uh, yeah, that looks like he's coming after me. Okay. Well, I did not expect to find a ship here. 
One of the audio logs said they were missing a material for some wire or something, and that they were gonna get a, gonna go down to the big ship to find it. Is this scrap? Nice. Easy titanium there. Is there a way into this ship? Looks like there might be a small gap in the middle. No, this looks more like it. Although, Warning. passing 100 meters. Yeah. Oxygen efficiency decreased. This needs a. Oh yeah, a laser cutter. We don't have that yet. Oh hello. New creature it's discovered. It's a spine fish. That's Hoopfish's cousin. We'll bring him home. We only have another 200 meters to go to get to this. We're coming into a new area again. I don't really know what to expect. Wait, what the fuck? Floating islands here? Oh! Oh! Ah! It can't hurt me, right? I think it maybe did two damage. I didn't like that. Oh, hello. We have an alien arm. Oh my god, this is actually terrifying. Holy fuck. Let's just keep moving. I Warning. hate... Maximum sorry, damage. sorry, sorry. Hull damage imminent. I hate this looking up in cloudy water. This shit is terrifying. I talked about it when we were playing regular Subnautica, but there was this like... Dive down there, don't I? Because we're taking fucking hull damage. <sighs> okay. What is that over there? <gasps> ah! Ah! Okay. Go! Turn this fucking thing off! Last known location. Warning. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen What's efficiency this? greatly decreased. Oh, sea truck afterburner upgrades. Oh, this is one of those uh, nests. So you're down here? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen yeah, remaining. God, I don't have any capacity in my tank. Oh, I'm getting fucking shivers like crazy. You hear? Okay, there's two ways of doing this. I could keep treating this guy like he could end my life at any moment, which is how I think, he, it, w w that, that's what I'm thinking. Or we could go test it. And then if we test it, then we know. And then if we know, then we know whether or not we're overreacting to the situation. So. Ah! Ah! Okay, okay, okay. There's a fucking other one. Oh. Wow, look at this. Where am I? Oh! Ah! Holy shit! I'm so disoriented. Um, the base is that way. I'm going farther away from my base. There is a large anomalous mass of rock that has broken away and risen above the surrounding terrain. Wait, that looks even bigger? Oh! Oh, there are these like whales? Oh my god! We're okay, right? Please don't come after me. <laughs> Are these lily pads? He just bumped my truck. <laughs> Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. A mature lily pad. How dangerous are we talking? Once the rising lily pad breaches the surface, its sealed fan slowly releases, causing the leaf to unfurl into a large flat circle that floats atop the surface of the water. Despite its size, the mature lily pad is able to float due to surface tension. 
Oh, so it's literally just holding onto the top of the water. Let's get a scan of one of these guys. Oh! 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 Fuck! Oh, I hated that! I hated that! I hated that! And it's, it's stupid because I don't even think he's gonna kill me. I don't think he could hit that hard. It's more of the idea! Oh, it's getting dark. Nope. 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 Going home. I don't care. I will try for a quick scan though if I can. Oh, come on. A glow whale. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Do these guys glow at night? I'm gonna get back in the ship and then I'll read that. Oh, glow whales are the first leviathans that we've found. Glow whales are communal leviathans, approximately 30 meters long, often found swimming in the open ocean and occasionally breaching to the surface. Is this word photophores? Uh, glow whales contain several types of bioluminescence. Perhaps the most noteworthy are the photophores, which are incandescent glandular organs found at the corners of their, of their eyes and the pods at the tip of their sail-like pectoral fins. Glow horns, the glow whale's blue horn, behave similarly to tuning forks. The horns receive waves of sounds in the water and help the glow whales identify members of their pod from a distance. This ability is also used in hunting shoals to determine positioning of potential food sources. When pods of whales are at play, they emit a harmonious series of notes that resonate in their horns and release a series of chemicals that appear to create a joyful response in other nearby whales. This note frequency is too high to be heard by human ears. Oh, they look so pretty from above. Aggression test one more time on this guy. Hello? Yes? Hello? He definitely sees me. Oh! Yeah, I think that was at me, I think. No, that was at a fish. That was just really fucking convenient placement of that fish. Thanks, video game. I literally can't see anything. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, there's a little bit of blue coming in. We're getting close to home. I wonder how deep this goes. Oh, hello. <gasps> oh, that's a data pack. Warning, passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. High capacity oxygen tank! This is perfect! That's exactly what we need to explore that area we couldn't get down to. Anything in here? I got my scanner ready. Builder fragment, we already have one of those. Uh, bottled water, we'll take it. And let's get out of here. Yo, good find. And that was just on the way back. I was just cruising back home. Does this go deeper than 150? Warning. Looks like just Maximum a little bit. Depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Sorry, you're getting beat up a little bit. Oh, we're at 44%. Oh, I think we did come down here. I think we did see some alien tech. God, look at that. It keeps going. Obviously, I can't go far. Warning, passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly oh, decreased. Oh, shit. Cheese on a cracker. Saw me. Managed to eject the cargo modules and hide. Sitting here with the lights off, sweating through my shirt. I'm not going to get pooped out of the back end of a sea monster to save Altera some money. Manuel, Warning. not Maximum going to be happy. Not one Hull bit. damage imminent. What do you think saw him? Oh, there's even more alien tech over there. Okay, let me check this out. Nice! A rebreather, amazing! 
What do you think is going on down here? <gasps> We've heard that before. We think it's a distress signal. And it happened right as I got down to that depth. It looks like back at the base, our creep vines are coming in. If we can take these seed clusters that just grew, we can replant them. So we never have to worry about those ever again. I grabbed one extra. Oh, the sea truck's leaking oxygen out. We definitely have to fix this thing up. We don't have a repair tool yet though. We need to get that done. The repair tool is one silicone rubber, one crystalline sulfur, and one titanium. We make rubber with the creep vine. You weren't extra, you were a pick special. All right, one rubber. I have the sulfur right over here. It has its own area. I can't believe how much of this we have already. That's still weird. That's still sinking in. And now we can make the repair tool. Yeah, take a look at that, dude. I want to be able to make a med station or a, a vehicle base station. Excuse me. Uh, you're going to be just fine. Good as new. It already stopped the leak. That's good. It was a little more difficult to make in this game than I believe it was in the last, but luckily for us, we found it. What if we sprung a leak inside of our base without the repair tool? What would we even do? Drown? <laughs> Not have a base? For our next craft, I'm going to need some quartz. There's usually a ton close by. In fact, I already got all that we needed. Now that we have glass, I gathered the titanium and silver ore that we need for the high capacity oxygen tank. Now, I didn't realize this in the first game right away, but you actually have to unequip your oxygen tank for it to be usable in a crafting recipe like this. What I did was I made a new tank and then turned that into a high capacity tank. And I still think that's a decent idea to have two. Seek Be fluid intake. Okay, I'm a little thirsty. Because our sea truck really can't go that deep, we can park it right at 150 meters and then swim the rest of the way if we wanted to explore a little bit deeper than what our vehicle can do. Uh, it is a bit of a resource cost, but we have all this stuff, so I might do it. So we're going to end up with two tanks. So in the previous game, this worked a little weird. We have to equip the high capacity tank to fill it with oxygen. I totally get this part, but once we go in the water and start draining the oxygen from this tank, I want to see what happens when we swap it over to the other tank, because sometimes we would get a tank that was like half full and the oxygen shouldn't be draining. It's not in use. So we'll see how it does. So I think with this setup right now, even without the rebreather, I can stay underwater for two minutes with one of these high capacity tanks. Oxygen. So a few things. In the first game, if you sw if you swapped at zero, zero oxygen, the game would act like you were dying. I'll see if it still does that. But I think we're okay, but we only started at 90 oxygen in this rather than the full 120. So maybe we'll find something, maybe we won't. I honestly don't Vital know. Signs stabilizing. But I'm gonna take our ship back out to the pilot's last known location and we'll at least have a look around. Whether it'll turn up anything, I have no idea, but I wanna try. Warning, maximum depth reached. Hull okay. damage imminent. We're at our maximum death. I'm going to pull up a little bit. There's one of those weird fucking fish off to my left. We're going to try to avoid him as best we can. Keeping this thing towards 150 meters, if at all possible. Oh, I don't know if I saw that green shit over there earlier. Warning. Maximum yep, depth yep, yep. reached. Hull damage imminent. 
Okay. Warning. Passing 100 meters. I didn't craft a rebreather. I forgot. I'm sorry. Uh, but we're here and we have two tanks. And I can't scan this? Seriously? A seeding lily pad. Okay, let's move. We're not here to scan plants. We're here to see what's going on down here. Warning. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. I'm looking for any ki any kind of dwelling, cave, light source, building, ship, anything out of the ordinary. And I'm not seeing any of it. 41 oxygen left. 32. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah. Okay, I'm swapping out oxygen. now. Well, this area looks deeper. This area over here. Where's my truck? I'm going to drive it over. Or maybe I should just go exactly to where that signal is. I mean, I looked there, obviously. I just didn't see anything. It seems like this general area is the last known location. Yeah, this is like hovering in space here. I'm gonna turn the lights on. Just make this thing a little bit easier to see when I'm coming out of this fucking hole. What a pretty fish. So this area was a little deeper. We have two tanks filled up. Wow, well, seriously getting deep. Three hundred meters. What are these? A flowering spore. So you're telling me she's down here somewhere? Whoa. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Look at this thing. Wow. Oxygen. I took one of the flowering spores. I don't... Oh, it makes benzene? Okay. New creature discovered. Okay. I have to leave. Wow. Wasn't benzene used in depth module upgrades? This could explain how she was able to come down here. Maybe we're on to something there, dude. Warning. 30 seconds of okay, oxygen I'm going, remaining. I'm going. We have 200 meters. Oh, shit. This is very bad. This is very bad. Oxygen. Oh, your boy fucked up. Oh, no. 